Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and to be doing a decorate with me in my weekly planner or my carry all planner. I am currently in the Happy Planner Mini and this is the dashboard layout. So if you're interested in seeing how this spread here comes out, please stay tuned. All right guys, so if you have been tuning in to my previous videos, you know that I only have a few Christmas um, sticker books, so I'm going to be sticking with that. I was looking into some principles to uh, purchase and kind of do a whole layout here, but I just didn't find anything that I had to have. I will continue my search because we do have a couple of more weeks still left in this month. And if I find anything, I will come on and do a plan with me or decorate with me with a sticker kit as well. So as you guys know, I will be using my trusted two books. I do have my tools off here to the side. And today the washi tape that I have chosen is this red washi tape with a lot of Christmas related stuff on it. I felt like getting Christmassy with my nails as well. So shout out to the cute Christmas nails. Put a comment down below if you have some Christmas nails as well. I also am going to be putting in a few of my just regular stickers here, um, just like script stickers, some that I've made in the past myself and some for my planner bestie, Brandy Janae. She does have a YouTube channel as well. So go ahead and check her out um, and subscribe to her channel as long as well as subscribe to my channel as well. So let's get into it. Um, my washi for this week is kind of big, so I'm not going to use too much. If you guys saw my video last week, you know that I said that I didn't like to use the um, first sheet of the washi that's left. I feel like it's not as sticky. However, I did not bring my scissors along, so I will be using that <laughs> because I don't have anything to cut it with. So I'm going to start off with a piece of washi here. And as I was saying last week, you guys, I have, I was losing my love for washi before and I've, you know, found a love for it again. So I'm pretty excited about it. I do think that I am going to um, go ahead and narrow my washi down to like just one container. I do have a container on my desk that has like three little drawers. And I do think that I'm just gonna go through the washi and just kind of purge purge the washi because guys there's just some washi that I have not used since I started it um a lot of you planner babes know that when we first got into decorative planning when you saw something you bought it and it might not have necessarily been your style so hence that's why I kind of have a whole 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 lot of washi um here that I just really 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 don't use and let me try to see if I can find another space to put. I know this washi was really big, but I wanted to use it anyway. So I'm just gonna use a little bit here at the top. Um, so like I was saying, I really just wanna narrow down my washi. I think the less amount of washi that I have, then I can just kind of get through that and purchase as I have room in my storage container. Sorry for the shake, you guys. And purchase as I have room um, in my storage container. So that is what I think I'm going to do. It's always nice to get organized prior to the new year and just really get out things that I don't find myself using. I do that with my clothes, so why not do that with my washi? So I'm going to do that here and I'm also going to probably do that with my stickers as well. So I am going to do just about that much washi here. Let me search through my book. I don't do a whole, whole, whole lot in the book. You guys are a lot of decorating because this is so small, but I do like to make it fun to look at as well. And I definitely want to put a little tree here. Last spread that I did, I was more into the candy canes on that spread. So I think I'm gonna put just a few little trees here. How are you guys doing on your Christmas shopping? Are you getting things done? I will say that I am definitely behind this year. Um, as far as the shopping component of it, I have been doing some good planning, but I am behind as far as actually the execution of it. And we all know that 
You know, that's one of the things you can plan, 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 but definitely want to make sure that we are executing those plans as well. So, um, I have to get to it. <laughs> and I am just going to find something as far as like a little checklist. I shouldn't have put this big tree here because I do want to make a checklist here, but I guess I will just have to write really, really tiny and get through it just that way. So I also think that I'm going to do a video coming up showcasing my like catch-all planner that I keep at home. As you guys know, this planner is the planner that I have dedicated to take on the go. It is nice and it's small and I just, you know, prefer to carry a smaller planner on an on-the-go basis. I was trying to carry my happy planner bib with me everywhere I went and it was just getting <laughs> outrageous to carry. So since I've switched back to this smaller one, I've definitely been enjoying having the smaller planner that I can just throw in my purse as well. So I wanted to take the time to write down everything that I needed to write on my weekly for my phone because I am recording with my phone. And so if you guys don't know, a good way to just kind of make sure you're not over scheduling yourself is to pre-plan in your phone. If you have a smartphone that has like um, the ability to have, if you have an uh, iPhone, if you have the, um, can't even remember the name of that calendar, but <laughs> the calendar that comes with the iPhone. I personally like the Google um, calendar because I, it just crosses over to everything, whether it is Android or iPhone. So I personally like that one. And I can kind of categorize different areas in my life. And that's very important to me. So I can keep a track on have certain colors to, you know, home management things, things for church, things for ministry, um, things for business. So I can color coordinate those things. And I really like that. You can do some color, color coordinating with the iPhone calendar as well. But I just like the Google calendar a little bit better. And like I said, it crosses over many different um devices so i really really like that so i usually have this you know a top five list that i need to get done mostly for me throughout the week it's usually like a top three list so i usually have a list and i really like those stickers off to the side although it is bugging me because i can tell that it's crooked but <laughs> i am not going to risk tearing the page and trying to pull it back up so just want to find a few more stickers to put on here and then i'm going to go through and put on some of my script stickers. As I was saying last week, I really do wish that they offered like a small, and they might, I just don't know if it's, I don't know if it's out there, but I wish they had a small Happy Planner Christmas sticker book because some of these stickers are so big and you only really get a chance to use them once a year. Well, at least I do. Somebody else may be more creative and use it in other ways, but I only use it once a year for the most part. And so you end up having these stickers for forever. But as far as this sticker book, you really do need to be in at least a classic to really utilize the majority of this book. But I am going to make it work. So I really do love all of the clear stickers that's in this spread. I think they are so, so stinking cute. And uh, that just made me laugh because one of my planner besties was talking about how much she says cute in her videos. And guys, that is my favorite word. I say cute, 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 cute all the time. So when I just said cute, it made me think about um, her saying that in her video. And it's so true. I say um a lot and I say cute a lot. So, you know, get used to it because you're gonna hear it a lot on my videos. Nevertheless, I still hope you come back. All right, guys. Um, I think I'm just gonna go through and look at some of the scripts here. So one thing I have been enjoying is the holiday Christmas movies. You guys, I like live for the Christmas movies and this little script sticker says holiday movies. And, um, that is one of the things that I enjoy about this season is being able to see a lot of the holiday movies that are coming out. Even if they are cheesy, you guys, I just live for a good holiday movie and um, some hot chocolate and just, you know, really, really taking the time to relax and do that. So if you have any 
movies that you recommend, please list them down in the comments and I definitely will try to check them out. I have the app called Philo and I will say by far they have been amazing with how many different varieties of Christmas movies that they are offering. So I really, really, really have been in love with that app. So I'm just going through, oh no, I'm gonna pull that up a little bit because I don't want that to cover up the December. Also, you guys, I am really interested in looking for, I do love the happy planner sheets, but I would like some more neutral things. And I know cloth and paper has some, um, and I believe Fancy Plans Co, I believe it is, has some. So I am looking into some more variety options to have, because sometimes I don't like the color. I just like a plain basic. And that's something that I realized over time with decorative planning is that I don't, you know, Happy Planner is great, but I don't really like all the color. I more so gravitate towards the neutrals when it comes to my planner. That way you have more of a plain base. So I really, really like that. And um, I wish that was more of an, a thing that they did. And if they do, I must always miss the more neutral calendars. I'm gonna try to pull this sticker up because I can't take it. <laughs> can't take it and now I've ruined this sticker if I can't get it all the way up but I just oh you guys these stickers when they get stuck just drive me absolutely crazy but I'm gonna try to get it up and I hope I'm gonna be very gentle oh no I think it's starting to tear oh no let's see be very gentle and see if I can just get it up okay here we go here we go, almost. I'm so extra, but such is life. There we go. So I found this other one that does not have a header on it, but it's like um, gold and red, and I think it is going to go cute in this spread here. I am going to try to just even it out as I put it down here. Am I the only person that just goes insane? <laughs> when I see things that are uneven. That's better. It's still uneven, but it's better than, look at me, here I go, I'm taking it off again. Um, let's just see if I can get it more straight. And after this, I am just going to leave it alone because this is ridiculous. All right, there we go. All right, so as you can see, it is coming along. It is so, 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 so cute. Um, I wish I had other like colors to put in for Christmas themed stuff, but I just don't have any of those other stickers. So it definitely is pretty much more traditional for me. So I don't think I'm gonna use anything for my smaller book that I have, but I am going to go through my script stickers. I absolutely love script stickers, you guys. Um, I am a big writer, so I really have to kind of like train in, train and hone in and write small, but I really utilize script stickers a lot. So I'm just gonna go through here. I love these stickers um, and put in things that I need to do from the stickers. I don't think I have any birthdays this, oh, yes I do, I have a birthday this week. So I have this cute little birthday sticker here that I am going to put just right there. Super, super cute. And I, what I love about these is that these are just neutral. Um, again, this is from my Planner Bestie shop. She is currently out of commission as far as her shop, but she has some really nice stickers. And I was glad that I got an opportunity to get some before she decided to, um, um, before she decided to close her shop. So um, I know that she has some more things coming in the work, so I'm excited to see what she has. And I know a lot of people go back and forth on whether or not you should put a work um, list, but I kind of like it. I won't put one for every day. So I put, I use this little spot here for the days that I work in which office I am going to be working at for the day. So that's what I use for that. And then I'm just gonna put that work sticker there. This is not a payday week. And then I am going to put in this sticker for my AM routines. Um, and I wanna find like a little check box to make sure that I check off on my AM routines. The reason why I'm putting it here this week is because sometimes I go through using 
uh, daily spreads and sometimes I don't, but a lot of times I could just get through my week with just the weekly spread. But if I have a daily spread, I really try to check off on my 8 a.m. routine, but I actually am just gonna put it here and then try to find a checklist box. Um, I need to put in days when I am going to film and upload. So I am trying to get on a better filming schedule. So that way I am ahead and um, I need to film, edit, and upload all in one day on this week. Well, for one of my videos. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put those on the week. And then I am going to plan to have another video uploaded throughout the week as well. I am shooting for uh, Wednesday. But we shall see. So I'm going to put that there. Look at how cute that script is, you guys. Super, super cute. And I'm going to put my grocery run on here as well. I really, really love a good script sticker. I really, really do. It just elevates the planner a little bit to me. I'm going to put a grocery run here. I think that because this takes up a lot of space, I am more so going to either make it myself or try to find a YouTube in general sticker and then behind it, I can write what I need to do for YouTube. Um, and then instead of just using a regular church sticker, I'm gonna use one of my morning worship stickers. And I am also going to put in a checkoff list for exercising as well. So my laundry, I specifically do on set days of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in here. And Friday and Saturday, I usually have my set things that I like to do for laundry. And one more for Saturday. So mainly I try to do my loads on Monday. Friday and Saturday. I don't think I have any additional. Oh, I do have an appointment on Monday. So I'm going to put that here. It's actually online, but I do have an appointment. Oh no, I kind of messed up the sticker a little bit. So I'm also going to put the appointment here. And. to do things. I don't think I have anything extra that I have to buy. And then I am going to put my Bible study sticker on here for Thursday. And I am also going to do a morning worship sticker for Sunday. So I am just kind of putting in some of the staple things for the week. And then once I get off camera, I am going to look at my phone and go ahead and plug those pre-planned things that I have in my phone. So guys, this is it in a nutshell. This is how my week turned. The week it is coordinating with my nails and I absolutely love it. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that button. It is absolutely free. And go ahead and, and, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload future videos. Tell a friend about my channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Always remember to be fearless, be intentional, and strive to walk in excellence. Until the next time, you guys, bye.